We now return to the report of the swearing-in of the commissioners of Lagos State. Stay with us. The Adeyemi Bero Auditorium was full to capacity, both in and outside, with families, friends, associates, and well-wishers. They are here to witness the epoch-making ceremony of the swearing-in of their loved ones as commissioners and special advisors. Governors of Wonlu charged the commissioners and special advisors to take their roles seriously and serve in the interest of the people. To the new executive council members, this spirit of cooperation and collaboration with the Lagos State Assembly is one that you must continue to build on. The people of Lagos State demand and expect the very best from you. Achieving this requires every one of you to reach out, to engage, and to collaborate. It requires that you have the humility to listen and to learn, the humility to consult widely and to consider well-meaning advice, and the humility to recognize that we're all winners, there are no losers. I demand and I expect no less from all of you. The Lagos State Chief Executive at the forum assured Lagosians that all ongoing capital projects will be completed by his administration. Necessary to change and to charge every of our residents of Lagos about their maintenance and about the protection of all these assets. We cannot continue to invest so much and watch our citizens misuse or destroy them. In this second term of ours, will expect to see a lot more stringent enforcement of our laws that protect our environment. And we will use every means possible to ensure that we safeguard all public assets. For the avoidance of doubt, we shall operate a zero tolerance policy on all of our relevant agencies of government. Speaking earlier, the Secretary to the Lagos State Government, Abimbola Salu Hundei, urged the newly appointed cabinet members to work assiduously with the governor using the theme's developmental agenda. In a vote of assurance on behalf of the cabinet members, the Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Benga Omotosho, appreciated Governor Sawunlu for finding them worthy of the honor to serve the Lagos State Government and the people of Lagos. Omotosho promised that the newly appointed commissioners and special advisors would not disappoint by working with Governor Sawunlu on the journey to Greater Lagos. It's not just a day of gratitude, it's also a day of commitment to working as a team that will help Mr. Governor and Mr. Identity Governor to fasten the journey towards the greater Lagos. Our dear Lagos will continue to be the pride of the countries and maybe of uh, our competitors. The bulk of office we have just taken is truly really symbolic of our willingness to embrace everything that will be in the best interest of our castle of excellence. Recall that the Lagos State House of Assembly, after some back and forth, confirmed 38 nominees for the governor's cabinet. Love Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.